All right, hey preschool friends. I have another Easter story for us to read this week. This one's one of my favorites. It is called Peter Cottontail and it is written by Amanda Stevens and illustrated by Christopher Santoro. Let's make sure you can see. Easter was always the best day of the year in Green Valley. That was the day Peter Cottontail came to town. Higgledy piggledy, here I am, Peter would always say. Every year, Peter brought Easter baskets filled with bright, beautifully colored eggs and sweet, yummy candies. There was a basket for each of the children. Higgledy piggledy, happy Easter, Peter would shout as he hopped from house to house. On Easter morning, the mommies would parade in their new Easter bonnets. The children would munch on their Easter candy. In Green Valley, every Easter was exactly the same as the one before. Until one year, on the day before Easter, Wily Wolf decided there would be no more Easter and fun in Green Valley. Those bunnies make such a big deal out of Easter, Wily grumbled to himself. They sing and they dance and they feast and they never invite me. Well, I'll show them. Peter Cottontail won't be giving out any Easter eggs this year. Then Wiley hid behind a tree and waited for Peter to come hopping by. It wasn't long before Peter Cottontail appeared at the top of the hill. As soon as Wiley spotted the happy rabbit, he let out a loud, ferocious roar. That roar sure scared Peter. He dropped all of his eggs. Quick as a wink, Wiley scooped up the eggs and ran into the forest. On his way, he hid each and every egg. Wiley wanted to make sure no one would find them. The next morning when the children awoke, there were no colored eggs anywhere. There were no jelly beans. There wasn't a chocolate bunny to be found. Oh dear, cried the littlest bunny. Peter Cottontail forgot about Easter. Of course, Peter Cottontail hadn't forgotten about Easter at all. He was out searching for his missing Easter eggs. This is higgledy piggledy horrible, Peter said sadly to himself as he hopped along. Just then, Peter heard somebody singing in a rough, gruff voice. I've got the eggs so folks won't be full of laughs and cheer. Without the sweets and yummy treats, there will be no Easter this year. So that's it, Peter said to himself. Wiley doesn't have the Easter spirit. Well, I can fix that or my name isn't Peter Cottontail, which it higgledy-piggledy most certainly is. Peter hopped back to Green Valley and told everyone what he had discovered. Wiley Wolf has stolen all of our eggs, Peter said, but that doesn't stop us from having an Easter party. We can still sing songs and dance and feast on delicious foods. As the other bunnies hopped off to start the party, the littlest bunny said, I knew Peter Cottontail could never forget about Easter. Peter did not go with the other rabbits. Instead, he hurried off in search of Wily Wolf. That was a very brave thing to do, especially since wolves are not usually very nice to rabbits. When Peter arrived at Wily's house, he called, Wily Wolf, come out here. Wiley came out with a big smile on his face. What are you doing here? He asked Peter. I thought you'd be off having a big Easter party, but I see you have no Easter eggs. I guess that means Easter is canceled. Not at all, Wiley, Peter said sweetly, but it would be a nicer Easter for everyone if you would just give back the eggs you stole. There are no eggs here, Wiley grinned. See for yourself. Peter looked around him. All he saw was an empty basket. Peter couldn't understand how that could be. Just then, the littlest bunny came hopping up behind Peter. Hey, Peter, look what I found. In his paw was a beautiful Easter egg. Me too, I found one too, shouted another little bunny. It was hidden under that rock over there. So that's what you did with the eggs, Peter said to Wiley. Well, since you hid all the eggs, can you help us find them? Come on, everyone, let's hunt for Easter eggs. 
so Wiley joined the Easter egg hunt, and he had a very good time. I like Easter, Wiley smiled, and I love Easter egg hunts. This is the best Easter I ever had. And all the animals in Green Valley agreed. In fact, Peter Cottontail decided to hold an Easter egg hunt every single year. Higgledy, piggledy, hooray, everyone cheered. Oh, and then it has a challenge at the end of the book. It says there's 76 Easter eggs on the pages of this book. Can you find them all? So you might have to try to check this one out from the library sometime and see if you can find all 76 Easter eggs. All right. I hope everybody has a great Easter. Bye, guys.